The Legend of Zelda Wii U. Nothing gets our hearts pumping more than the thought of this game. It's been a long wait, but in November's Nintendo Direct, we were shown a few short seconds of Zelda Wii U. Just enough to tease us and fuel more speculation and theories. However, those few seconds of Zelda Wii U isn't what's causing controversy in the Zelda community. No, it wasn't Twilight Princess HD either, but a certain DLC pack for Hyrule Warriors. Nintendo's Direct was packed full of Zelda, and this includes the spin-off game Hyrule Warriors. Zelda fans were surprised to find out that Linkle, a female version of Link, is going to be playable as DLC. We were shown this female Link before as concept art for Hyrule Warriors. When asked in an interview, they stated, Linkle, a tentative name, was a rejected story character featured in the art book, but it looks like she got quite a lot of attention. Maybe we should include her in the main story. But what does this have to do with Zelda Wii? Could Linkle and Hyrule Warriors be Nintendo testing out a female version of Link for an upcoming Zelda game? In recent years, many of Nintendo's games such as Pokemon and Mario have given fans the chance to choose between playing as male or female. What if Linkle is put in as a second option? What if we weren't forced to play as the male Link? It seems like a far-fetched idea. But after you get the facts, you may find out your opinion on it has changed. And remember, in past Zelda games we have played as other characters like Café in Majora's Mask, even female characters in Wind Waker and Phantom Hourglass. In the spin-off of Hyrule Warriors, all the female characters were a nice surprise and very refreshing to play as, receiving high praise from fans. On top of this, a lot of games featuring playable female characters are becoming more and more popular, which is changing the game industry, and Nintendo is continuing to change alongside it. Nintendo joked around about Link being female when the first Zelda Wii footage was shown off. When fans first seen the footage and the female traits of Link's face and hair, many fans' reactions weren't too nice. Some said he didn't look like Link at all. Others said it was a female Link. And when confronted about this, Anuma said no one explicitly said that was Link in the trailer. During a later interview, he cleared things up by saying, it's a rumor. Actually, that comment I made jokingly. It's not that I said it wasn't Link. It's never that I said that it was Link. It's not really the same thing, but I can understand how it could be taken that way. It seems like it has kind of taken off where people are saying, oh, it's a female character, and it just kind of grew. But my intent in saying that was humor. You know you have to show Link when you create a trailer for a Zelda announcement. Did you hear that? You have to show Link when you create a trailer for a Zelda announcement. Does this hint to another playable character that could have been shown? He goes on to say, I don't want to get people hung up on the way Link looks because ultimately, Link represents the player in the game. I don't want to define him so much that it becomes limiting to the players. I want players to focus on other parts of the trailer, and not specifically on the character because the character Link represents, again, the player. That last statement. Let's hear it again. I don't want people to get hung up on the way Link looks. Because ultimately, Link represents the player in the game. I don't want to define him so much that it becomes limiting to the players. Just think about that. If Nintendo doesn't want players to get hung up on how Link looks and wants him to best represent the player in the game, he doesn't want him to become limiting. The joking of Link being a girl in his statement in this interview makes it all more believable that we may get to choose Link as a male or female. After all, it would be the best way to represent the female audience, which is something Nintendo said they were going to be focusing on in their last investment meeting when they showed off their first mobile game. Also, in Triforce Heroes, Link had a lot of female outfits to choose from. Could Triforce Heroes not only be Nintendo dipping their toes into multiplayer for Zelda once again, but seeing how people react to Link looking like a female? With Nintendo putting a huge emphasis on rethinking the conventions of Zelda, what if one thing they were experimenting with is having us be able to choose between male or female, Link or Linkle, at the beginning of the game? Nintendo has said many, many times that while working on one game, it will often influence another game that is in development. So having Hyrule Warriors and Triforce Heroes influence the development of Zelda Wii U is very much possible, and allowing us to choose Link or Linkle is very much possible. 
This isn't the only way of having Linkle in the game though. What if we were able to play as Link and Linkle at the same time, or better yet, you and your friend? On January 23rd, 2013, during a Nintendo Direct video stream, when the first few details of the game were given to us during the same Direct that Wind Waker HD was, Aonuma updated about the progress of Zelda for the Nintendo Wii U. He stated that the game still had a significant ways to go. Aonuma mentioned that Nintendo would be rethinking many of the conventions of Zelda, including the order a player is supposed to complete the dungeons, and rethinking how Zelda is a play-by-yourself game. There we have it. Zelda Wii U will incorporate multiplayer in some way. How, though, is a spark of many discussions in the Zelda community. Jesse has made a video in the past going over how multiplayer could be implemented. It could be a simple Miiverse feature similar to Wind Waker HD, or it could be a full-on multiplayer experience like Hyrule Warriors or the recent Triforce Heroes. How this will be incorporated in a mostly single-player game is interesting to think about. Will there be another player picking up a controller and joining as another character by the press of a button, like many past games? He could join in as a Zora, a Garan, a member of the Sheikah tribe, or any other races that are known throughout the franchise. For example, imagine riding on a Pona as Link with your friend rolling beside you as a Garan across Hyrule Field, or sailing on a boat through a river while your friend swims by you as a Zora. If we aren't playing as another race, then maybe a specific item such as the Four Sword or a brand new item will allow Link to split into two or more characters. Imagine switching from the Master Sword to the Four Sword, or whatever the new item may be, and when your friend picks up the second controller, the screen splits in two, and another Link appears on the screen. The character he splits into could be a female version, Linkle. If this is the case, imagine the possibilities for online functionality with the game. Also, in almost every Zelda game, Link always has a sidekick or helper. Think about Navi or Tail or Tattle, whatever the fairy's name is in Majora's Mask, Midna from Twilight Princess, Fi or Fee from Skyward Sword. Maybe the second player or your helper is Linkle, or a new character entirely that your friend can just join in and play as and help you out. In Twilight Princess, Midna is always there with you anyways, and in Skyward Sword, so is Fi. So what would stop the second player from picking up the controller and just controlling them, helping you out during a boss battle or against a group of enemies? Anyways, if this is the case, the game should not require multiplayer, but just give us the option for it to be. What if Triforce Heroes was Nintendo testing the waters for fans' reactions to a female-looking Link and multiplayer? Could Zelda Wii U have been delayed to get fans' feedback from these two games on Linkle and multiplayer? If the game wasn't well received, then a simple Miiverse bottle in the water and no second player or Linkle may be what we end up with. But if the game is a success, then we could see a full-on multiplayer experience with the new Linkle. After all, this isn't just speculation. It was Anuma himself who said he doesn't want Zelda Wii U to be a play-by-yourself game. He didn't want to limit Link by his appearance, and Nintendo is looking to appeal to more female gamers. Allowing multiple players to choose between Link and Linkle could be the best way to solve this problem. A character that all the Zelda fans are familiar with, and a new female character for the audience they are trying to reach. What are your thoughts on this though? Should Linkle be introduced as an optional character? Since we know for a fact Zelda Wii U will have multiplayer and won't be a play-by-yourself game, how do you think multiplayer will be incorporated? Will it just be Miiverse or something like Triforce Heroes and Four Swords Adventures? Let us know in the comments section below and let us know what you would like to see from future videos. Well guys, I've been RMFH, and before we go, I just want to say thank you to Game Over Jesse for letting me tag along on this one. It was a lot of fun, and it was a very interesting topic to talk about. You guys all have a good one, and if you want to see more Zelda content from the both of us, go ahead and subscribe to Game Over Jesse, and head on over to my channel and subscribe to mine as well. You guys all have a good one. Peace out.